Well, pharmacies across the country are right now preparing for the arrival of Australia's third vaccine, Moderna. For more, we're joined by pharmacist Quinn On from Priceline Pharmacy in Cabramatta in Sydney Southwest. Good morning, Quinn. Your first jabs are expected to arrive on Thursday. How soon will you be able to start rolling them out? Oh, we pretty much can roll out straight away because uh, we're, we're prepared. We've got our forms uh, in coloured paper, our consent forms prepared. So um, uh, we, we believe it, it may even come, you know, tomorrow and, and because we know that the Moderna has just arrived, but the government's actually working very hard behind the scenes. Uh, they, they, as far as I know, it's coming out either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm. So hopefully if it comes out, we're ready to go. We're hoping to focus on um, 12 years to 18 years school students uh, so that they can go back to school. I mean, school's important for education, but it's also very important for mental health, for their physical activity and, and pharmacies, community pharmacy is the best place to go because we're open seven days, we're opening early, we're closed late and we're around. You can always speak to a pharmacist and you will get a pharmacist immuniser uh, to give you the jab. So um, we're very excited to roll out the Moderna as soon as the vaccines uh, arrive in, Australia, um, in, in our pharmacy. Yeah, well, We're told you're going to receive around 200 doses. That doesn't seem many. Is that enough? I mean, you're a can-do guy. Do you have the capacity to do more than that? Oh, absolutely, definitely. Um, we started the AstraZeneca eight weeks ago and we received 300 and we used up the AstraZeneca pretty much in three days. There you go. So um, the allocation of 200 per pharmacy over two weeks, it's definitely not enough. Um, but I, I understand that there's a limited supply um, around the world. So in Australia, we're, we're very lucky to, to get a million uh, this month and three million every other month after that. Um, we... We, we can do up to 200 AstraZeneca daily. Last Saturday, I did myself 200 AstraZeneca in this one pharmacy. So wow. to get 200, it will probably only last us about a day or two. But um, luckily last night, for some reason, the portal opened and we were able to op uh, order another 300 doses. But even with 500 doses, that will probably only last us about four or five days um, and not two weeks. Uh, with the increase in demand, and we do want children 12 to 18 years of age to come out and this is the best time. The government's really timed it really well, I guess. Uh, school holidays, parents are at home, they can bring the children out, get them vaccinated so they can all go back to school um, as soon as possible. Yeah, so will you be restricting your Moderna jabs just to school kids and have you been told to do that or is that just a decision you've made? So based on our target advice, um, the Moderna is recommended for 12 years old and over and there is no really any um, upper limit, but we, highly encourage people to you know use up the AstraZeneca as well it, it's just as effective it's a very good vaccine it's just as good as any mRNA vaccines um, the Pfizer the Moderna the, the AstraZeneca they're all equally good um, but with very little um, side effects if any at all um, in our community um, so I, I think the people around Cabramatta and Fairfield will embrace the AstraZeneca um, and allow the Moderna to be used up by more of the 12 years to the 18 years old because uh, we really need to protect them although they don't get a lot of infections but they can transmit it easily amongst themselves if they go back to school and that's why there's school lockdown so if they get transmitted amongst themselves they can take it home and give it to their mum and dads and their grandparents yeah. and you know there's a lot of people that live at home with uh, that are immunocompromised so yeah. we really want the children to get um, vaccinated so that they are protected so they don't transmit the virus and the Delta virus variant is very contagious as we all know we want them to get vaccinated go back to school and not pass it on to the adults and we're hoping the adults will continue to embrace the AstraZeneca which is a very good and safe vaccine and we have you know over a million doses left and hopefully uh, we can convince a lot of our uh, elderly patients to take the AstraZeneca as we have in the last eight weeks. We've done 8,000 oh. AstraZeneca's in eight weeks, so oh, we're, good. we're very um, confident. Yeah. We'll let you get jabbing, Quinn. Thank you. <laughs> well done.